TitleMatchNetwork.com. Competitor. Your Mission Pro Wrestling Champion is here, baby! Maybe she got a little scared in her boots. She didn't want to make the trip over. But I heard there's a little hot thing running things down in Mexico. So I said, okay, Mission Pro, give me the best. Ref Sherry will be the official for this very, very important match. And a special thank you to our ring announcer, Nadia, who has such an amazing voice, does a tremendous job. And while we're giving some thank yous, I do want to give some love over to one of our sponsors, Brandon Latimer. Brandon Latimer did sponsor this championship match, and we want to thank him from the bottom of our heart. Thank all of our sponsors, because without them, we cannot do what we do out here in Mission Pro Wrestling. Once again, if you would like to be a sponsor, you can go ahead and send an email over at missionprowrestling at gmail.com for more information. Absolutely, and let's not forget about those increíbles, and of course, Thank you to Nation's Corner, who's been a sponsor from the very, very beginning. Bam! These two ladies locking up off the get. It's like two bulls locking horns. Holly Dead taking the advantage. And a little bit of information on Black Widow and why she is such a tough competitor. She has been training since she was 12 years old, Sam. 12 years old. That is commitment. She debuted at 15 years old, and now here she is competing for the Mission Pro Wrestling Championship. She brings a perfect style. She brings a mix of an aggressive American style. But, of course, she brings in that high-flying, exciting Lucha Libre that is, you know, in her, in her culture. Absolutely. And from what I understand, she was also trained under, like, strict lucha training in Mexico and in southern Texas. There's a certain tradition uh, that runs very strong uh, with Lucha Libre. So she has a respect for what this industry is and she's worked so so hard uh, to get where she is now being at Chaos, one half of the tag team champions there with Sexy Star actually. So getting accolades in her own right, what a privilege for her it would be to hold two titles at the same time. And she has wrestled Mexican legends such as Fabia Pache, the Moreno sisters and many others during her time in Mexico. And here's the other thing about her too is that she trained in Ciudad Juarez and she told me, you know, the reason why she got into professional wrestling her and her dad were big fans of Lucha Libre, and she saw it as a sport. She saw it as something competitive and something that she wanted to try out, and now look how far she was. She was so fearless at going in at such a young age and training Lucha Libre. Absolutely. Well, pro wrestling is one of the hardest sports in the world. It puts tremendous wear and tear on the body and on the mind. Holly Dead knows a lot about that. She's been a veteran of this industry for six years, trained by Gangrel. And she's been all over the country for the past couple of years, proving why she's one of the best women, someone who should be holding a title. And that's just what happened two months ago at Don't Fear the Reaper, when she managed to pin Jasmine Allure two minutes after Jasmine became the Mission Pro Wrestling Champion, defeating La Rosa Negra. Not only that, she wrestled three matches at Don't Fear the Reaper to eventually become champion. You just don't do that. Not any ordinary person can do that. It takes someone extra special. It takes somebody championship material to be able to successfully wrestle three matches in one night. I couldn't agree more. If you can go through Jordan Blade, Robin and Charlotte, Jody Threat, Jasmine Allure, and La Rosa all in the same night. Holy crap. But 
We talked about this earlier too. Her last match that she had with Maddie Renkowski was absolutely phenomenal. And so that just kind of gives you a little bit of a taste of what kind of a champion Holly Dead is. And Holly Dead also brings out the best in her competitors, whatever that may be. She's here for a fight. And I think we saw that last month with Maddie Renkowski, right? We saw that aggressive side of her manifest with Holly Dead. And we saw that tonight with Lady Frost. But right now, Holly Dead is putting the boots to Black Widow, who I think might be regretting making her way across the border for this match tonight. And right now we are seeing a lot of power from Holly Dead as she gives her those knees to the midsection. But do not underestimate Black Widow. Here's the thing about Black Widow. She has wrestled men. She does a lot of intergender wrestling. She knows what it's like to have the size advantage not on her side. So she is, you know, she's made her way. She's wrestled tough, tough competitors. So she is going to bring her A game. Everything that she has done is leading up to this moment where she can possibly become champion. But Black Widow is shaking her head, flipping the bird to Holly Dead. I think she might have had enough. Maybe she has bitten off more than she can chew. You know, I think she's better than this though. I think so too, but when you're in the ring with Holly Dead, you probably start to second guess some of those life choices that you have made. And Holly Dead is making sure to go after that. Look at the power walk that she's doing right now. Yeah, Holly Dead is not going to relent. She's going to go after you like a rabid beast. I'll tell you, if somebody's chasing me and I look back, I don't want it to be Holly Dead. No, definitely not. That's my, my worst nightmare, actually. Oh, drop kick to the chest of Holly Dead. The tide of this match changing in Black Widow's favor. She goes for the pin. Not able to pin Holly Dead yet, though. You know, Holly uh, Dead actually let me in on a fun fact about uh, the Edge of Darkness. What is it? See, if I uh, if I divulge that, she'd actually kill me. So I'm gonna refrain, but just keep that in your mind spaces. Edge of Darkness, okay, guys. Ask her about it at the merch tables. Well, for your sake and for the sake of me wanting to still have a commentary partner, I'll let you keep the secret, Sam. Oh, yeah. We'll keep it on the hush-hush until Holly lets me. Oh, my God. Releasing all of her strength onto Black Widow, taking a moment in the corner to recuperate. And since the very beginning, Holly Dead has said she only wants to wrestle and have the best matches. She only wants to have bangers, and so far she has. So far she has, and I don't think she's she's ready to end that anytime soon. The second you become champion, you kind of put on this new pressure on yourself to make sure that you put up the very best. Because as champion, she is the face of Mission Pro Wrestling. She absolutely is, and there's no one more deserving than her of being that champion right now. Of course, save for the number one contender, former That's champion, Mission Pro Wrestling champion, La Rosa Negra. That is one very important thing, Sam, that we did have to bring up, as you just mentioned. The number one contender, La Rosa Negra, is literally waiting waiting and aching to see who wins this match because chances are that's the person that she's going to go after. And here's the thing. The finer details of that interaction with Alor, La Rosa, and Holly Dead is this. Holly never actually pinned La Rosa, but she did pin Jasmine Allure, which even more so justifies, you know, the reason why La Rosa is once more ascending, climbing, clawing for that championship. Exactly, and I would tell you that would be a hot match to get into. But at the same time, what would it look like to have Black Widow as the champion here in Mission Pro Wrestling? I feel like she'd roll with an iron fist. I see that. I definitely see it. But right now, Holiday is definitely. this is she's, she's got the match on her side as of right now. She is showing that power. She is showing, she's showing a lot of confidence in the ring and why shouldn't she she's coming off a hot ride we mentioned all of the wins at don't fear the reaper we mentioned the excitement of her you know becoming champion having that hot match with maddie and now she's looking to add black widow to that long to that to that to that growing list of accomplishments absolutely i think that we need to get a literal belt that holly dead can put notches on especially moving into 2022 if she's still the champion oh my god delivering those deadliest thighs to the face 
of Black Widow. Is she going for another one? Oh no, goes for a big lariat, but Black Widow anticipating that. Heading up top, will this pay off for her? This is where she's most comfortable at too. Oh! Big English drop kick, whoa! Beautiful, beautifully executed by the Black Widow. Goes to show some of that training that she's had. That's definitely not what Holodead wants to see in this match right now. She needs to make sure that Black Widow doesn't get in her element. And it's not very often that we see someone that can truly hang in the ring with Holly Dead, delivering blows with the same ferocity as our champion. But Black Widow is doing that right now. The tide has changed. Let's see if she can capitalize. Oh, well, I might have spoken too soon here. Oh, okay, some good back and forth by these ladies. You can tell how much both of them want this win. Oh, her Karana off the top rope. Holly Dead. Kind of, kind of a little bit, uh, I, was, I was thinking in Spanish, oddly enough, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but I was thinking in Spanish. I mean, beautiful, I was <laughs> beautiful transition too, Sam. Like, this has been very cool to kind of see yeah. how Black Widow transitions from her high aerial maneuvers now to some groundwork. And I've never seen this maneuver. It's super cool. I think in, uh, in the Mexican tradition, this would be uh, called a nudo or a llave. Not entirely sure what this is. Well, it's definitely getting the best of Holla Dead right now until she finally got her foot on the ropes. Using that very, very tip of her toes. And Black Widow made sure not to let go of that. She knew that she was putting on the pain on Holla Dead and any extra millisecond that she can get of pain on Holla Dead could make the difference in this match. Yeah, but she's got to stay on her, you know, taking a little bit of time there uh, to banter with the referee is not what she needs to be doing right now. If and we it, learned anything from tonight, Sam, is that any distraction could cost you a victory. It can cost you the upper hand in the match. It can cost you a lot. Hey, don't take that buckle off. That's, that's the buckle we're auctioning off. Well, maybe it would be worth more money now. I don't, perhaps, I don't know. Well, maybe. perhaps. We'll have, to, we'll have to consult Where, Joe Gallagher. What is she going for right now? Black Widow, it seems like she's looking for something right now. Oh, probably to continue her plan here. What is she thinking? What is I going through her mind right now? And I think the referee is blind to what's in the left hand of Black Widow. I'm still not entirely sure, but it seems like a shiny metal object. Okay, it is scissors. It is scissors. And she's definitively looking to cut the turnbuckle, Denise. Smart on Black Widow's part to distract the referee by giving Holla Dead a couple of shots to the chest. But now the referee seems to know. She finally seemed to realize what's happening here. Yeah, and Black Widow still just giving Sherry her back. I think Sherry knows something's happening, but she doesn't know exactly what was going on there with the buckle. The scissors are still firmly rooted on the buckle, so to be continued on that end. That's definitely not something that you want to see happening right now. Holla Dead has been working this match with respect in the sense of competitive nature as is, you know, bringing in her sportsmanship so that Black Widow can pull out this stunt. It's not right. And now this corner completely exposed. Whoever gets put into that corner is going to have hell to pay. It's going to hurt. Let's hope it's not Holly Dead in this case. But Holly Dead has definitely noticed that exp exposed turnbuckle, and she is not. She's going to use her experience to make sure that she doesn't get the worst end of that. Big blows to the chest. Holly calling for one more. Holly Dead's leg was trapped on the top. Beautiful chop. Both of these ladies not relenting. Oof. Very this precarious. is no man's land right now. All right. Is anyone's move? I do not like what I'm seeing here. This is giving me a lot of anxiety, Denise. This is not, from this from this perspective, it's not looking good. You got that exposed turnbuckle, you got the steel steps right on the outside. What are they, what, what is going on here? Big headbutt to Holly Dead. Oh! 
I don't think I've ever seen Holly Dead fall like that. It's very, very hard to watch Holly Dead in a vulnerable position. Uh oh, big oh. risk. Oh. Suicide dive through the second rope. The referee has to check on Holly Dead. I think the back of her head might have hit that chair. It definitely hit that chair from the sounds of it and from what I saw. We just heard and we just heard a collision is what we saw. It's very clear to me that Black Widow is going to go to any lengths to secure a victory here. Oh. And of course Holly Dead has the heart and of course the foresight too. Counter this, that move. This is not an area you want to be at right now. You got all of the, the chairs, all of the steel chairs that the fans were sitting on. You got the steel steps. And this is not a place where either one of them wants to be. You definitely don't want to be on the outside when you're tired, right? But both no. of these ladies now back in the ring. Holly dead with firm control over Black Widow. Oh! That looked like a double clothesline, I think. I, from what my end, I think it was actually just Holiday who was got the clothesline okay. on Black Widow. But as we're, you know, trying to get a good vision here as everybody was making their way back to the seat. Yeah, we had some fans scuttling about. But this is a good moment, though, to let everybody know who's on Title Match Network. Please make sure to let everybody know that you guys are watching Mission Pro Wrestling. Please use that hashtag, hashtag MPW Watch Party, hashtag MPW Silver Bells. Let the world know you are watching Mission Pro Wrestling. Oh, yes, one of the best women's wrestling promotions, if not the best, in my opinion, in the world. Follow us now because we're on an upward trajectory in 2022. Oh, my God, Holly dead on loading on Black Widow. Don't count any of these women out, especially, well, either one of them. Just when you thought they were both down and out and had hardly nothing left, they are both pulling in from deep within to get the very best, but we'll see what happens. We are seeing some, we're seeing some frustration from Black Widow right now. That is not a good place to be mentally. You gotta be, your mental game plan is a huge part of this. It can determine whether or not you have what it takes to walk out of here as champion. Oh, Black Widow attempted a driver of some sort on Holly dead. Oh, victory roll there. Sliding out, big boot by Holly Dead. Spine Buster. Gotta go for that pin, Holly. Could this be it? A Not enough go. to keep Black Widow down. Not enough. And at this point in the match, both of these ladies have to be exhausted between what was going on in the ring earlier and then that onslaught outside. I don't know how either of these women are, women are continuing. Oh, attempting, attempting darkness falls. Holly dead driving her shoulders into the abdomen of Black Widow. What does she have planned here? She is, you know, it's very interesting to see how this has been playing out because every time I think somebody's got the best of somebody else, it doesn't turn out to be the case. However, right now, Holiday seems to be working out a plan. I can see the, like, the, I can see the wheel spinning in her head right now as she just, like, smacks Black Widow right into the back, her back torso, and she keeps on, she keeps on smacking her. Uh-oh. Black Widow fighting out. I, 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 I don't have the mind space to guess what this is right now. After all of this amazing wrestling, but Holly dead, she's not going down easy. The strength from Black oh. Widow. Oh my God, I thought for sure a new champion was gonna be crowned. Black I have Widow. to say, I am beyond impressed by the power and the strength that Black Widow just showed right now. Holiday, this is the moment that is going to test her to see whether or not she can get back up. The crowd is definitely cheering her on right now, and it seems to be helping. Black Widow driving or attempting to drive Holly Dead's head into that exposed buckle. Holly Dead wanted none of that. Off the ropes. Oh! Catches her in that crossbody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, driving, oh my God, driving Black Widow's face into that exposed turnbuckle. The turnbuckle that Black Widow herself exposed. Definitely seems like a bad decision now. Karma's a witch, Denise. It 100% is. Karma is a witch. Bringing her to the center of the ring. Goes for that pin a second time. Black Widow kicking out at the count of two. I'm surprised because after that blow that she took in that expo exposed turnbuckle, I was expecting that to knock out her lights and for that to be the end of it. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. Innovative pin there. Goes for a boot, but Holly with the schoolgirl. Oh, looks like Black Widow is staggering a bit. Using pure instinct right now, both of these ladies are. To duke it out here, but I think... I think Darkness Falls is about to unleash on Black Widow. Pretty sure this is it. Yep. Wow, what a title defense by Holly Deb a competitor all the way from Mexico, proving that she can defeat people in the United States, out of the United States, and she is going to take on any competitor in 2022. Top of mind, La Rosa Negra. She continues to prove why she is the Mission Pro champion. There is a reason why she is the one holding the gold, holding that belt. There is a reason why she is about to get her hand raised by our referee. What an amazing performance by both of these women. And what a reign that Holiday is having now as Mission Pro Wrestling Champion. I couldn't... TitleMatchNetwork.com